My daily routine when I was at college just a few years ago consisted of this. I'd wake up late, usually after about 1pm because I was still absolutely hammered drunk from the night before and I was dizzy and all this stuff. I just felt like absolute trash. I'd turn my alarm off from my phone and whilst my phone was still in my hand, I would scroll through Reddit then I'd scroll through everyone's Instagram story. Then I'd scroll, scroll through YouTube and then I'd do this again, probably three times on each app in total. After that, I'd just beat one off. And I'll do this to pixels on a screen, which was, you know, really good for my mental health. It made me feel absolutely excellent. You know, this combination of things made me feel great. Uh, it really didn't. It made me feel like shit. So like any normal person, I thought that why don't I try to fix this kind of absolute calamity of my life. So I went back onto YouTube and I'd search for advice and I'd come up with some terrible pieces of information from absolute morons online who just told me things like make better goals, you know, bloody have a healthy lifestyle. You know, this stuff just didn't help me in the slightest. You know, I would just constantly be in this loop of bad habits and they were talking to me as if I was just on a different planet. It didn't resonate with me at all, okay? And I just had no control of my life whatsoever, man. Now, if you're anything like this, and if you're anything like how I used to be just a few years back, then you've probably experienced a lot of similarities to this. You know, you probably can't get on top of your life and you probably can't stop these bad habits, which you know are bad for you. And I know there are people watching this video right now that are having issues with these because I did a poll the other day and the results showed me that I needed to make a video on this topic. So this video is for you, man. I really wanna help you try and get out of this rut. You know, I don't have this problem like I used to in the past. And I, you know, I've been able to sort my shit out a little bit and kind of get out of this rut that I used to be in. So without further ado, my friend, listen closely. So to end bad habits, you need to really want it, man. You know, you need to have the mindset of the fact that you're gonna stop this bullshit, okay? And if you've had an FTE moment about this, if you don't know what that is, that means a fuck this event moment, that's even better, okay? And let me try to explain a little bit what a fuck this event moment means. Basically, if you get to a point where you are so sick and tired of this lifestyle you are living, you will have this mindset where you are willing to do anything to get yourself out of it. And if you don't have that moment, then the chances are you are not gonna make a change to your life because you don't want it enough, right? So you need to feel strongly about it. And if you don't, you won't stick to it, man. I'm not saying that it's not entirely possible to achieve, you know, ending your bad habits without having an FTE moment. But the chances are, if you haven't had that moment, it's probably gonna be a lot harder for you to do this. So you have to get your mindset right and know exactly what you want. Now, the second thing that I would suggest is that you make it easier for yourself, okay? So you wanna be removing the cues that lead to the habit, you know? For example, if you smoke joints every single night, just throw away the raw papers that are, you know, in your drawer or under your bed or wherever the hell you keep them. Because if you've got them and you've got, you know, a little bit of weed or whatever, then you're going to be more tempted to smoke it, right? In the same instance, if you can't stop scrolling through Instagram, just delete the app, mate. Like it's literally that simple, you know, log out, delete the app from your phone, and then you're not going to be tempted to go on it when you, when you scroll through your apps because you're not going to see it, you know? So make it easier for yourself, man, you know? Remove the cues that lead to the bad habit. The next thing you wanna be doing is becoming a psycho, temporarily, of course. This means that you need to be obsessed with the idea of not doing that bad habit. You need to get that mindset where you are literally so wrapped up about this idea you know you're not going to be doing these bad habits you need to be obsessed okay you need to make it a part of your identity so i would suggest tracking it and counting the days 
And you'll hear a lot of people saying that you don't want to be counting the days and, you know, that makes it a part of your identity and that that's a bad thing. But I don't think that is a bad thing. I think if you really want to make a difference and you really want to remove these bad habits, you need to make it a part of your identity, at least temporarily, okay? Because there will become a point where you'll no longer need to track it. You'll no longer need to count your days. And that's because you are naturally in this state of not wanting to fap to pixels on a screen. You're naturally in this state of not wanting to smoke a joint every night. You know, you'll eventually get to a point where you just do this on autopilot. This is now your life, okay? You don't need to identify yourself as someone that smokes or someone that drinks or someone that eats shit food because you'll just be this person that does the good shit, does the good habits, right? And that brings me onto my fourth point, which is to actually occupy yourself with other shit. So replace the bad habits that you're that you're doing. Replace them with good habits, you know? And some great habits that young men should be doing, in my personal opinion, and from my personal experiences, are fighting, reading, meditating, learning something new, oh, don't know what's happened there, <laughs> and socializing, you know, and going out and meeting friends, you know, and socializing with the boys. Because if you sit around and, you know, you just do nothing and you're feeling sorry for yourself and you're not really taking action, you know, first of all, you're gonna make things very difficult for yourself. And second of all, you're gonna be tempted to swing back into your old bad habits. And that's why people will consistently relapse. And it's because they're not occupying themselves with, you know, other other habits. Because quite frankly, it gets boring, doesn't it? When you just sit around and do nothing all the time. So, you know, do these things, learn new things, and you'll be good to go, my friend. So that's how I personally got control back again over my life. Believe you can, and you're more than halfway there.